welcome back to my channel. I'm Shanai and I'm running solo today and and I'm and I'm from Siblingship. Okay. Um my brother's uh not gonna read this book today with us. Well he never does, but like maybe next time he will, but I just hit 20 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and I know that some people out there really actually want me to read books for you guys. So I'm back here today um, reading a book because I hit 20 subscribers. Um, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to more subscribers. Um, so, like, new people, please go subscribe. I'm Shania, and, like, we do really cool stuff on this channel for, um, like, yeah, you're gonna love it. Promise. Okay. Well, well, for people who will love it, like some people might not like this content, but like it's not really my problem. Sorry. Okay. So let's get into this book. Um, today I'm gonna be reading Splat the Cat. The rain is a pain. It was raining a lot today, so. Uh huh. And um, if we have time, we might read Giraffe and Bird. Okay. So let's get reading, guys. Okay. Splat couldn't wait to spend a whole day in his brand new skates. Looks like Splat got some new nice skates. And look at this. It's a little mouse riding a little pigeon. I think, or duck. I, mean, I think it's a pigeon. Ducks aren't blue. It was a Sunday. There was no plain little cloud in the sky, but it looked far away. Splat jumped, spun, and flipped, and the cloud got bigger. It got closer. It got darker. Here is Splat roller skating with his little mouse. And here is finding out that the cloud is getting closer and darker. Splat tried to skate away. He went left, he went right, but the cloud followed. It was gaining on him. Now the cloud looked as big as a plane on, or a train. It was, a, it was gray, it was dark, stormy gray. Here is the cloud. And here's Splat running with his little mouse. It's so cute. The cloud poured rain. The rain is a pain, Splat complained. Here is Splat feeling sad. And here he is. Um, also feeling sad in the rain. Okay. Next page. Inside, Splat tried to dry off. He shook it out. He shook. He shook out his fur. He jiggled his paws. He squeezed his tail, but Splat was still very wet. I'll just air dry, he said, standing in a big muddy puddle. Here, Splat trying to dry off, and here is Splat, just squeezing his tail. This is a very funny story so far. Splat picked up a muddy paw, and then another. He felt a big muddy puddle and a big muddy stain. Mom was not happy. Out, Splat, she said. Out, Splat, out, she said. But it's pouring. But it's pouring, Splat explained. The rain is a pain. Here he is with his mom getting angry when he makes it dirty. Oh, that's such a pain. That is an actual pain. Okay, here is the next page. By the way, if you wonder why I have a giant bone in my jeep, so I'm actually chewing something. All the skating had made Splat hungry. 
He rolled to the kitchen for some ice cream. Little Sis was frosting fish sticks. Little Sis had the radio on. Meow Rock began to play. It was Blatt's favorite song. He began to sing and dance. Here are the pictures. And that's his sister. Splat bumped into little sis. The frosting spilled everywhere. Out, Splat, out, said little sis. I can't go out, said Splat. The rain is a pain. Oh no, looks like Splat poured um, his sister's baking everywhere. Poor little sister. Well, I don't think she's little. I think she's older. But I don't know. Here is him spilling her um, baking mixture. And here is him with her sister. Her sister is very mad. I don't think Splat should be so mad at, like, ruining... I don't think Splat should be ruining it. Um, her should say sorry. I think Splat should say sorry for dumping his sister's mixture. I think he did, though. Splat rolled into the dining room. The song made him think of something to, to do. Let's play musical chairs, Splat said to Seymour. Splat fell flat. Here is him getting an idea for musical chairs. It looks like he's still spreading mud on the ground with his roller skates. And here, him flipping off the chairs. I think Seymour is his little mouse. Um, and his mouse is a little helmet too here. So if you look really closely, where he's holding his hat is a little helmet. It's very cute. I love the details they're adding to the story. Here. Dad was not happy. Out, Splat, out, he said. It's still pouring, said Splat. The rain is a pain. Splat rolled into the hall to take off his skates. Here is his dad, also getting mad. The details are so cute. And here he is going to take off his skates. But um, his sister's coming around the hall. So what will he do? Knock her down? Hopefully not. Hopefully you'll see him stop because he looks like he's going pretty slow. But Splat ran into Little Sis. Oh yeah, Little Sis. Wait, you said Little Sis earlier, right? I think I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Sorry. But Splat ran into Little Sis. Splat! Her plate of frosted fish sticks went flying. Oh no, that's so sad. I think Little Sis worked really hard on that. Oh no, said Little Sis. She reached out in vain. Here. Bang, that's how you pronounce it, right? Okay. Yikes, yelps, yelps Splat. But he caught the plate. All the fish sticks remained. Mom and Dad heard the shouting. They rushed in in and ran into Splat. Fish sticks went everywhere. Here is the fish sticks. And okay, so, um, oh no, and then, so Splat, so Splat catches the fish sticks here, and then he, he wants to give it to his mom and dad, and the fish sticks go everywhere. They go crazy. It looks like they're having a dance party or they're on a trampoline. Okay, next page. Everyone slipped on the fish sticks. Everyone did, did, everyone slid in the muddy puddles down the hall and out the door. Oh no, said Splat. The rain. Uh oh. makes a rainbow.
the rain will make a rainbow because when it's sunny um and it's raining at the same time a this the um the sun reflects off the raindrops like a mirror and makes a rainbow in the sky it's amazing rainbows are beautiful and that was the end of the story here is the last page it's beautiful isn't it now you can tell that little says so actually littler okay i think we have time for giraffe and bird just a little more okay giraffe and bird i've read this book it's a really good book i think you guys will like it it's true that getting along can be difficult if the bird could tell he'd say he can't stand the giraffe and if the giraffe could tell you he'd say he can't abide the, abide the bird looks like they can't stand each other there's the bird and there's giraffe. The bird you see makes funny faces at giraffe. And the giraffe sticks up his long tongue at the bird. Don't think they like each other. Seem very annoyed by each other. This makes the bird twitter in the in in the giraffe's ear. Tweet tweet tweet. That makes the giraffe invade the bird's personal space. They're getting into each other. Some days the giraffe has bad breath. Other days, the bird eats too many berries, which are high in fiber. Here are the pictures. Frequently, giraffe makes loud noises. Then he chews on his food with his mouth open. Smack, smack, smack. Of, often the bird slurps up a slimy worm in front of the giraffe. Slurp. Hmm, kind of slimy, gross. Here are the pictures. Oh, I didn't think you should use one more, you know? Okay, there. Sometimes the bird prunes his feather just above the giraffe's head. Sniffle, sniffle. This makes giraffe sneeze. They don't get along at all. Giraffe let, lets out a sneeze, the bird is blown right off the telephone wire. Achoo! Flap, flap, flap. And every time the bird is blown off the telephone wire, he flies up to perch right on the giraffe's horns. Oh, this is the first thing, sorry. When the bird perches on giraffes on the giraffe's horns, the the giraffe swats him with his ears. Swat swat swat. When giraffe swats the bird with his ears, the bird pecks him with his beak. Peck 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 peck. The pecking makes giraffe shake his head until they are both dizzy. Dizzy and woozy, they both tumble to the ground. Thud. Second 
One day, the one day the giraffe loses his patience and shouts at the bird, "Scram, bird!" The bird gets fed up and shouts back at the giraffe, "Get lost, giraffe!" So they do. That night, there was a seriously scary storm. All the telephone poles crashed to the ground. The giraffe wishes he could hide his eyes under the bird's feathers so he wouldn't see the lightning. The bird wishes he could hide under the giraffe's ears so he wouldn't hear the thunder. So he wouldn't. Um. So, so he wouldn't see the lightning. Crack. Boom. Bang! Looks like giraffe and bird need each other. The next morning, the bird feels glum. He has nowhere to sit and no one to pick and pick. The giraffe feels lonely. There's no one around to pester and perturb him. With no one around to pester him, the giraffe has time to think. The funny thing is that all the giraffe can think about is the bird. What can he do to bring the bird back? Sometimes when you don't like a friend, you may desperately need them. The giraffe agrees to help the telephone company for a while. Wait, wait. Yeah. The giraffe agrees to help the telephone company for a while. He doesn't have to wait long for the bird to return. He also doesn't have to wait long for the bird to start making faces again. <laughs> Looks like they're back together. That's giraffe helping the telephone company. And here's bird making funny faces. It looks like they like each other's company. Like giving each other company. Super <sighs> smack, tweet, tweet, smack, swat, 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 peck, 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 slurp, flap, 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 tweet, oh, dud, tweet. Uh oh. Looks like someone comes crashing down. Okay. Now it's true that getting along can be difficult. And if you ask these two, the giraffe, the giraffe might still say he can't ab abide the bird. And the bird might still say... He can't stand the giraffe. Pictures. So it looks like that bird and giraffe um, don't like each other, but they like being beside each other. It turns out that they like each other's company, but they don't like each other. It's pretty strange, but like sometimes friendships can be like that. It's not really friendship, but you like it. It's kind of odd. But we know better. So instead of not liking each other, being beside each other and liking each other may feel better. Here's them. That's the end of the book. Thank you very much, guys, for for um for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed um, me reading these books for you. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. I'm looking forward to 30 subscribers. Um, and, yeah, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.